More than a decade after Superstorm Sandy's devastation, one New Jersey community will get the flood protection it needs. Neighbors told CBS 2's Christine Sloan it's about time. This yellow house with the first floor gone in Union Beach became the symbol of Superstorm Sandy's devastation. Very frightening. And in the beginning, it just, lots of floods, waters were coming. On Brook Avenue, Debbie Krause's home, the only original one standing. Here it was during Sandy. Everything else leveled or torn down. We found out later on that it was built to FEMA code years ago, which we had no idea what that meant until after the storm. Krause welcomes the project. Project underway on the beach. The first phase, an 18 foot berm with a planted dune, groins along the sand to prevent beach erosion and pedestrian and automobile crosswalks. The impact on nature is sad, but the necessity to keep the houses and the community from suffering another devastating storm and flooding is absolutely important. The second face, 14 foot walls literally around Union Beach. Flood walls and levees and pump stations and tide gates that all together once completed will envelop this community and better protect it. U.S. Senator Robert Menendez and Congressman Frank Pallone Jr. say 65% of funding for phase one of the $50 million project will come from the federal government. These improvements will better protect Union Beach from rising seas as a result of climate change or catastrophic weather. If this project had been in place at the time, we wouldn't have experienced as much damage as we experienced because you, you go back to that time, we had, even to today, we have no protection. Congressional officials say the project is fully funded and expected to be complete within the next five years. In Union Beach, New Jersey, Christine Sloan, CBS2 News.